Philippine President Benigno Aquino is visiting the devastated city of Tacloban today. Many people angry with his government. They say remote areas have received barely a trickle of the relief supplies that are flowing into the country. Official sources say nearly 4,000 people are now confirmed dead. However, that number is expected to rise. The number of people displaced by Typhoon Haiyan is estimated to be about 4 million, a nightmare for families hoping to be reunited. Many people from the Philippines work in other countries and are now returning home in a desperate search for loved ones. The CBC's Andrew Lee has one man's story. In a corner of a crowded airport, one man is alone with his thoughts. My name is Martin Gillespie from Jupiter, Florida. And um, I have a wife, Frida, and three children, Jade, Asia, and Remo, that live in Tacloban. Ever since the storm, Gillespie has had his phone in his hand, even while sleeping, searching TV images. Sometimes you can't take your eyes off it because you're hoping to see a glimpse of someone in the family or something. Like so many others, Gillespie is on a quest to find loved ones. He had only spoken to one man on the ground before he left. And he told me, don't go there. And I says, I gotta go there. The wife and kids are there. And he says, I understand. I lost Gillespie amidst the chaos of the Tacloban airport. A vicious thunderstorm unleashed on the city, and Gillespie disappeared into the rain. He set out on foot. Days after the typhoon, bodies are still found on the streets, others in rows on a lawn. And the smell of still more corpses buried in the rubble hangs in the air. At City Hall, people are looking for clues about how to find missing people. Epic lines form to get basics, and the evenings are terrifying as there are reports of gangs roaming the streets, exchanging violence for food. Yet, in the rubble, there is treasure to be found. On the tarmac, with a smiling family, Gillespie jumped out at me. I seen the house, I actually burst out crying. I, I ran, the last block I ran into the house, and the house was intact, and only a little bit of the roof was missing, and I knew they were alive once I seen the house intact. He had faced his greatest fear. I gotta tell you the truth, I thought they were dead. I bought my tools to dig them out, to dig out their bodies. If I don't dig out my own family, who would? Heroes emerge in times of tragedy, and Takloban is full of them. Andrew Lee, CBC News, Tackle Back.